Welcome back to Comics Play, Justin Thompson. Cordial Jones. Jones. All right, we are right where we left off with the with the big boots or whatever. Being dicks to us. <coughs> we have switched around the remote, and now Corey is making all the decisions. <laughs> this should go great. Now, mind you, when I play these games, I play it with a certain mindset. I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna be powerful and uh, and mean and shitty to people who deserve it. Oh shit! We're King Landing now. She has Marjorie Tyrell's face. Ah! And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay if it's presented to her as it should be. No, I think. I love how it's like they'll remember that. I'm like, good. I want all of them to remember it. Fuck yeah, them. Good. Fuck everybody. I'm gonna kill every one of you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> the eye on the wood box. What's in there? Oh, sweet. We got coins. Get the coin. Yeah. Yunkish coin. Ashes ain't the best coin. Do you remember him? Just strange place, Essos. Essos, okay. Yeah. Names are River. <laughs> nice, nice little piece of wood. There, a carving. All right, cool. Looks like a compass, almost. It was very it's not, but it looked like it from a distance. The ones belong to Lady Elena. They don't have compasses, do they? Uh, I think they do. I mean, it's just something you don't ever see on the show. Yeah, well, we don't. They don't do a whole lot of nautical stuff. In the yeah, show, so I guess kind of. No, but you think that'd be good to just walk around the woods with? <laughs> Especially if you're trying to get away from some fucking people. Yeah. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Oh, Lady Marjorie. Under the circumstances. We're going to run into Lady Marjorie. And I look forward to the day you can. This castle is just ridiculous. It's like too much. It is. It's too, too much. How many guests are you expecting to have ever? <laughs> well, <laughs> like possibly whole kingdoms, I assume. Yeah, but whole kingdoms filled with the what lords and ladies and their servants. You know yeah. what I mean? Not, yeah. not like actual it's peasants right. and outliers <laughs> of the kingdoms. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, dude who's, the dude who's making corn isn't. <laughs> Life, man, he might be a baller in his community. Oh, yeah. Oh, the dude who's mining Lannister gold is just rolling them in bitches. <laughs> Let's have God. you seen how the Lannisters live? Yeah, but the dude Possibly. mining it. Nah, -uh. <laughs> the dude down there with a pickaxe, fucking sending the canary in just to see if, he de if he's dead. If the canary will come back. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this. It troubles me to even ask this. Lots of letters. Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Lady Marjorie to intervene. And Here's my question. With the, with the Raven system, Especially why are there ever letters like this? Like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They have a delivery system that's... Why, why would they just send a letter... With a guy, <laughs> he's gonna travel months to give you this piece of paper. Well, let go. Let's go to the door. Let's get the fuck out of here. I just see anything else I need to look at. One yeah. Moment. One moment. I was not. Oh, sorry, my lady. Well, you were still able to disturb me. I can come back later if you'd like. How do you know that's a slave boy? No, it's fine. Look at him. Come in. 
You know, a lot of the fucking Robert Baratheon's bastard kids look like that. It's true. <laughs> a lot of them. You know what's fucking weird is I was uh, I was going through Netflix and I came across the Flintstones be the Rock Vegas. And I had to sit there for a second and go, Jesus Christ, this dude playing Fred is Robert Baratheon. Yep. That's fucking weird. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course. Because it's two completely different type of characters. Yeah, entirely. Entirely. And you're like, wow. Uh, maybe he, did, he did a great job of this king. Seems like you did. Let's see, uh, uh, what was the question? Uh, you worked for her. That's what I thought. For Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good Oh, people. okay. We're Lady Marjorie's handmaid. Yeah. Me. yeah. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. <clears throat> outside the royal set. Talking to Queen Cersei. Sir? Sir. Oh, that bitch. You know it's sad? I hate her, but I, I so want to see her ravage all those I couldn't hear much, religious nuts. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was just passing by. I heard them arguing about House oh. Forrester. House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. I mean, I like Jamie, by the way. I, I, I like Jamie. Jamie's kind of redeemed himself. Yeah. I mean, I like him when he's still an asshole, but it was just for a different reason. I like him how the narrative is all like his. Yeah, he's smart for the most part. Yeah, but I mean, like, the very first episode ever, he tried to kill a child. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, <laughs> he kind of had to hate him, but I don't know. There's, there's a lot of characters that I'm like, ah, oh, they'll redeem themselves. It's just like, it wasn't like watching Sons of Anarchy where I was like, ah, oh, I like Clay. I never liked Clay in Sons of Anarchy ever. Whole fucking series is like he needs to fucking go. Hey, hey, here's Lady Marjorie. I Yay! love Lady Marjorie. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. Um, we must discuss. There's a great thing online. It says the actress who plays her. Her smile says she looks like she knows when the apocalypse, the apocalypse is coming. And I agree. Like, she does. Like the look in her eye. It looks like she knows the world is about to end and how. And she's just like. I'm, th I'm fine. Whatever. You're fucked. I'm good. And you know how I feel about. I'm in this big fucking daunting castle. I feel your pain as if it were my own. You know what's funny? You know what'd be great is if in this universe, like the one person, of course, discovers how gunpowder works. The whole show changes. Yes. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> the whole show changes. Just one of the people is China. One of the yeah, one group is just now China. Yeah, they're just now China, and they're like, oh, here's some good. That was China's problem. Letting everybody else know how the shit worked. Yep. <laughs> if China never let anybody know how gunpowder worked, they would rule the world. <laughs> Yeah, we would all. Well, still, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where uh, trying to figure out how to perfect it. But she was very pleased uh, with herself. I'm no traitor. I'm yeah, not a traitor. Uh, of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She uh, demands but, an audience. Uh, but other countries. Kind of figured out somewhat how, like magnesium and phosphorus went together properly. They they just hadn't perfected it yet. China got it perfect, and uh, what do I say? Or what should I say? Find a way to appease her. But once they they made a cannon and guns, it was like like. See if the Queen Regent is people, other people us. fucking stole the shit and this yeah. and that, I guess, I guess. Like, yeah. But, if they kept that shit under wraps, oh, they would have been. You know, we're, we're honestly lucky that the Mongols, uh, uh, that Attila the Hun, didn't take over China. You'll be fine. Because he just literally, 
took everything that he you found military-wise and another. turned it on its head and made it into a better thing and incorporated into his army. And he getting gunpowder from China? Mongols would rule the world. <laughs> there would be no no fighting there at that point. When they got flaming arrows, they almost took everything else. Almost took everyone out. Well, uh, who, who who is the uh, uh, but like fucking Genghis Khan was like the worst person yeah. who's ever lived. Like we we don't think of it because it happened somewhere else like forever ago. But like he raped and pillaged so much that like six percent of China and Asia are related to him. Yep. And it's like that that's a lot. It is a, yeah. That is a lot of fucking people. Oh Tyrion, yeah. Lord Tyrion. House Forrester. House Forrester, you know them, they make beer. I will speak truly. <laughs> I should hope so. Speak Foster? Oh, fa is it Foster's? Foster's? Yeah. House Forrester. Uh, I, I, I knew we were going. God damn it. Are they? The joke was I there. <laughs> hey, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it was just the wrong fucking name. Which makes the joke not be there at all. It's Whatever. Okay. I tried. Sometimes you throw some shit lost. against the wall and doesn't Lord stick. Forrest. It's okay. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, of course. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the wardens of the north. We all playing loyalty guards. Playing the I only serve my king. Yeah. Never go. Hmm. <laughs> he got that. Thank you. Thank you. The girl did say that loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is, he is the new warden. warden. I'm not saying yes, because I want to betray you. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. Uh huh. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm glad my choice is a peace, Tyrion. That's what matters yes. to me most. Not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Yeah, we, we're, do, we're doing a pretty good job of yeah, politicking right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, I mean, that's part of what I went to school for. What I went to college for was that talk. So, you know, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. To our mutual benefit, your grace. <laughs> and at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to <laughs> We're see just it. pissing her off. Yeah, that was my goal. I, <laughs> I want her to hate me, but I want Tyrion to respect me. That's really easy. You just get her to hate you. Get her to hate you and, uh, and answer things uh, with wit. To see another. I won't dishonor myself, your grace. I see. Damn right you see, what bitch! Did the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe at the Northern Army. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the room? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renda Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake?
mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flip through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. <laughs> Yeah, this is getting kind of intense. Sorry, yeah, it we, is. Yeah. We, we Sorry, kind of get, we we kind of, silent. Yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of caught up with what's going on here. Yeah. Pretending to be something they're not. Uh oh. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to yet. Beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person. Man, she's so, laying it on. Thick. Yeah, she is really. I'm sure she Let would. the girl answer the question. The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is. But who do I see as the king? Because it's the most ah, probably not Joffrey. Most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. Oh, good. You don't know what to think of me. I who like cares? With you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Say something good to us. I'll walk you out. I'll walk you out. Okay, right. good conversation with him. But I met your father once at the tourney at Manusport. Even then, he didn't dress Bruce Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. We did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes wow. great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in I'm glad that he's with us. Yeah, me too. We must find <clears throat> I don't need Marjorie. I don't need well, that. I think, I think Marjorie is actually she okay. To give your because she told you to. Another yeah, she told you to do that. So I think we're fine. The crowd needs both. Those two do have a very both. intense I conversation about the crowd in this regard. <laughs> not her. I wouldn't want to end this conversation. And yeah. it would be wise not to. But I suppose did, the crowd did, could be persuaded to Did that just a jump cut or did I like, fucking make that up in my brain? Uh, it, it was just a weird cut. Okay, I got weird. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although, I was about to say, I was like, am I, am I just making up shit my now? Rather my own head? You and your house. Are you willing to risk that? I'm glad that we picked this game. It's a lot different. Yeah. It's a risk I'm going to take your turn. Yes, I'm willing to. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'm willing to make a, to make an agreement with you to now, get Ironwood from. Me, I promise yeah, so my God. Yeah. Join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can All be right. a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. 
initiate. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. We have successfully got Tyrion on our side. Hopefully. At yeah. least enough Hopefully. to keep him interested. Yeah. All right. Uh, and we, we will see you next, next time. time. Tell him explain. Yeah. Pause it. That way, <laughs> we can jump.